Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Right now, we're showing you different drawings in structural drawings. So, after an architectural drawing has been has been drawn, the next thing is to give it to a civil or structural drawer engineer to actually produce this structural drawing of the structure. The structural drawing is a detailed engineering drawing that consists and shows the reinforcement of the bar of bars of high yield steel bars or might steel bars that shows us the foundation layout the column layout the staircase the slab the beams and how they are designed and arranged so right now we're looking at the first structural drawing which is the foundation layout the foundation layout is in the first sheet like i can see a sheet number one is the first sheet is the first drawing to be drawn in a structural drawing the foundation layout tells us and show us how the foundation is to be carried out is to be carried out so this is a foundation layout this particular squared element here is the base is the is the column base the black word here is the column itself why these thick lines are the excavation width from year to year is the excavation why the thin lines in between them is the wall so this is a pro this is a typical foundation layout of a structural drawing you can actually check our youtube channel to see how we design a foundation layout from an architectural drawing so the numbers on each of these column on or, or each of these column bays is telling us the particular column as it's been here as it's been placed here and the particular column base that has been placed here this ct this ct3 is the column number of this column why this bt3 is the base number of this base so you can see we have ct1 we have bt1 we have bt2 we have ct2 we have bt bt3 and ct3 and what have you so these things you actually get to understand it while we go further into the column base details and the column details so i believe you understood what the foundation layout is this particular section is this is a panel of the drawing you can see notes all dimension are a millimeter no dimension is to be scaled the engineer shall not be responsible for any construction not provided by him so you can see the project who has the project the client of the project you can see the designer and the complaints that is that is being, or the consultant of the project then the next structural drawing is the reinforced concrete base detail so, it, so which is the base detail you can see we have base one base two base three which has to do with that bt1 bt2 and bt3 so this is bt1 this is bt2 and this is bt3 this is bt1 bt2 and bt3 what is the difference when you look at bt1 which is base one it has it has a very big base of 15 by 2 150 and each column each columns are separated it has a column it has two columns two separated columns on each base and these columns have um, are made up of four y16 which is four numbers of high yield steel of 16 millimeter diameter so this is what this particular base one is all about when you come to base two each columns are combined it's not like separated as a particular one it it has a a very big column one column of eight bars these eight bars are actually eight y16 actually eight y16 which is eight numbers of high steel of centimeter diameter why this particular one is just a very short column base of one five mm by one five mm and it's completely prices of six column bars of six y16 over here so six y16 is six bars of high yield steel which is a y and of system meter diameter and if you can see here y8 y8 of 200 is telling us that this is the 
this is the links the links of the high yeast tea bar the links are those bars that connect or that connect the the high yeast tea bar the 16 millimeter together and this 200 are the spaces in between links that is for the ROC base details and when you come over to the next column the next drawing is the column details the reinforced column details Just like you have ct1 ct2 and ct3 at the foundation layout so this column detail this particular one this column one is ct1 the column two is ct2 and the column three is ct3 the column one has two bars two columns almost spaced together they are not together but they are almost together i think they have the same base just like the bt1 and they have 4y16 and 12 of y8 which is, which, which is the links are spaced to, by 25 millimeter and they are 12 total and you can see the same thing happening here and the same thing happening here this column 3 is just 6y16 just like as we have as discussed in the former one but when you observe this entire columns when it comes to this particular one column 3 at the, the particular part is is the ground floor plan why this is the upper floor column this is the ground floor column and this is the upper floor column at the upper floor column you can see that the 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 bars reduced both in number and in size here is 6y16 one here is 4y12 so when you when you're designing your structural drawing once you come once you are going higher you tend to reduce the weight the load of this of the reinforcement so that it won't actually cause a collapse or a crack or a failure whatsoever so the next drawing is the beam layout this is the beam layout this this shows the entire the size and the positioning of each of the beams so you can see different beams beam 2 two to five by 450 millimeter so these are different beams you just indicate them in the structural drawing so the next drawing which is the number four drawing is the beam layout the number five drawing is the beam details here you pick you pick some particular set of beams especially critical beams and analyze them and get to know what reinforcement to be given to them and the size and then get the cross-sectional area of the beams so which is the number five sheet then the number six sheet is now the slab this is the slab details of the beam here you actually design the decking as some persons can call it but it's actually called slab in the right engineering term you design the slab of the beam telling you over here the particular position if you're going to be at the top or the bottom and how many reinforcements and the reinforcement size to be used for the slab then the next drawing after the slab is the roof beam the roof actually have a beam this particular beam is what carries or what helps to carry the beam or the load coming from the roof no you don't just allow the load come from the roof to actually to actually rest on the wall because the, the wall is not or, or or rest on the block because the block is not strong is not reinforced it's not made of concrete or reinforced so you make use of reinforcement you design you, you you make sure that your load coming from from the roof especially for an upstairs especially from, for, for for a story building is is being resting on a beam so this is the roof beam of the house which is the number seven drawing why after the roof beam the last drawing you now see is the staircase details so this is the staircase detail of the house this is now the section section one of of the of each landing of the first flight and the second flight so this is the staircase details these two on toss means that we have two staircase of this particular design in the building so i hope you learned something check our youtube videos our other videos to see on how we can design each and every one of these hit on our comment section for your questions and inquiries and able to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the notification icon to get updated when i will drop a new video like this see you in the next video